scientists are taking apart Cristiano Ronaldo's body to discover what makes him one of the world's most valuable footballers. So far, his body strength and extraordinary mental ability have been examined. The next set of tests will investigate his amazing technique. Is it this that gives him the edge? Ronaldo's free kicks are as famous as they are effective. Fast, accurate, and unpredictable, his success rate is three times the average. No one else in the world has mastered his technique. So the question is, how does he do it? It's a Portugal Brazilian uh, free kick because yes, this ball goes up and down and that makes it extraordinarily difficult for, for the goalkeepers. It's really dangerous when you shoot uh, the free kicks. Cristiano Ronaldo's style is like uh, a punch on the ball. Ronaldo has probably got one of the most efficient power application models of kicking uh, that there is in, in terms of the amount of effort that he puts in and the return he gets on the ball speed. To find out how he does this, the scientists are going to analyze his free kick in minute detail. What we're going to do now is put reflective markers all over your body so the cameras can pick up all your movement and we can see, the, in 3D, we can see all your movement, how you move, how your technique is when yeah. you're strikeable. Okay. okay? So let's apply the markers on him now. Okay, we're going to go for a full body marker set here. Essentially what we're looking for is we've got 10 infrared cameras that are going to sample 300 times a second. And hopefully what we get then is a three-dimensional reconstruction of exactly what happens during your kick. This process is called 3D motion capture. It's what video game animators use, but this is the first time it's been used to analyze Ronaldo's free kick. The most important bits, of course, are gonna be on the leg, mm -hmm. so we can then identify just how fast his, uh, his leg is traveling. So we put these clusters on this part here. Stick this down. So that's for the joint, yeah. How often will you do free kick practices? in terms of practicing your technique? Depends, one time per week. Once a week, you yeah. just do it after training, just yeah. repeat Once. it. Yeah. 25 balls, 30. 20, 35 balls? Enough. Yeah. Do you generally do it with a goalkeeper in there? Yeah, with goalkeepers, yeah. 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 There we go, beautiful. Okay. So now we're going to do your free kicks, but I'm not going in goal. We've got your former teammate, Jersey Dodek. Hello. How are we doing? Hi, Chris. I'm good. Nice to meet you. Good man. Let's go. Let's get set. Andy has set up the lab with the goal 20 meters away. To begin, Ronaldo will take a free kick, employing the technique he uses to bend the ball over a defensive wall. Okay, Ronaldo, and play. It may be over in the blink of an eye, or 900 milliseconds to be precise. But what happens during this time is fascinating. To get the ball to curve, Ronaldo must strike it in exactly the right place. This is something that is achieved by hitting the ball off the center of mass. So we're hitting it almost to the side of the ball and using the inside of our foot to wrap around that ball and generate spin. Once we've generated the spin, this creates a difference in pressure between the inside of the ball and the outside of the ball, and will tend to push the ball towards the direction of low pressure. Hopefully then this curves over the top of the wall and the keeper won't see the ball until the last minute. The precision is extraordinary. He sends the ball spinning round a perfectly vertical axis, veering off its normal straight trajectory by more than three meters. But perhaps what Ronaldo's most famous for is his devastating power kick, or knuckleball. If we then take a look at the way Cristiano hits his knuckleball, this is a free kick where very little spin is imparted to the ball. Play. What we then get is a contact more towards the ankle joint center. This, of course, is going to generate less spin to the ball. 
striking the ball right in the middle and giving it virtually no spin, sends it off in a dead straight trajectory. But at the last second, the ball unexpectedly deviates off course. It's a real danger for the keepers because it's impossible to understand the trajectory of the ball. He hits it with the laces and the ball floats as well. So it, it, it has a double effect. It comes down very late, but during the whole move of the kick, it moves sideways. If the ball is spinning, it's easier. Difficult to, to catch, but easier to understand the trajectory. It's all down to aerodynamics, and the secret of Ronaldo's knuckleball is in the seams. When the ball's spinning fast, the seams have no effect. But when the ball isn't spinning, the seams can catch in the wind on one side and not the other. It's just enough to make the ball deviate. The slight movement of the ball in the air can generate the movement of the seams to generate a turbulence that varies from one side to the other side of the ball, makes it almost impossible for the keeper to react into which way it's going to move first. How does it feel being a goalkeeper when he strikes the ball straight on? This strike is very hard to read, obviously. The ball flies like a balloon, you know, it goes yeah. move left, around. right, up and down. Because the ball moves the around, they can't, you know, really save bad or the finger. It's, mm -hmm. it's yeah. difficult because the ball moves a lot. I think sometimes it makes uh, goalkeepers scared when, uh, you know, <laughs> when you see Cristiano coming. Thank you. Brilliant. Well done. Well done, Josie. So this is what Dudek would have seen in goal. This is perhaps the cues that he might get to pick up on. The amount of weight and pressure on the standing foot before he strikes with his right foot, that's got to be huge. It's fairly large. We're talking round about 30 stone going through, his, wow. going through his foot there. So how come the bones don't, cr don't break? As you saw before as well, very, very strong musculature. He flexes that leg slightly on impact. As we then come towards this point here, all the energy that we've stored yep. in this segment around the pelvis Obvious. and around the thigh, yep then gets translated through the knee. That power flows through the knee to whip through to the ball. Very much if you imagine like a cowboy with a whip. Mm -hmm. He moves his arm and then stops it. The end of the whip goes so fast. Yeah. Ronaldo moves his thigh very fast, then stops it, and, and then... the, end of the, the end of the foot comes through so quick. Looking at the kick from the front, it's clear that Ronaldo's posture is also a factor. I have a phrase that I, I call the pillar, which is basically the crutch to the top of your head. If that pillar is straight, and it is with Ronaldo, particularly on his spot kicking, and his legs are an extension of that line, even though you might tilt it on its side, okay, there is still that flexion type of movement. Coupled that with the fact that his body moves through the ball, you've got a pretty potent power model there. But just how much speed does this power generate? Andy has designed an unusual test to find out. Inspired by an event in Ronaldo's childhood, six sheets of glass are arranged around a speed monitor. Ronaldo will fire the ball at this glass target. What is it like as a kid smashing windows? Well, when I'm, when I'm a kid, I'm, I think I break just one glass of one neighbor. It was a very, very big problem because when I'm arriving home, my mom kicked my <laughs> this is So this is the perfect situation where you can smash glass and... No, it's happy. okay. No, it's not a problem. Nobody's going to kick my... I'm happy. As much power as possible so we can smash them glasses. Ronaldo, this is your chance to take your free kick with no restrictions. Nothing at all is going to hold you back. taken out. So what speed has been recorded? What we wanted to do is see just how fast that ball speed actually yeah. was. This is pure, unadulterated maximum speed. 
and we can see we took our readings from the ball here yep. and we're hitting round about 35 metres a second or that will translate into 80 miles an hour. 80 miles an hour? 80 miles an hour, yeah. That's ferocious. Ronaldo's free kick is one of the fastest in the world. It's a match winner and one of his key strengths, a trademark that involves a unique and unconventional technique. The rest? Can I do the rest? Let's take the rest out. It's better. That felt better, huh? Yeah. Look at the damage here. Just here. Look at the damage down there. Straight through. Let's clear this area. Let's clear this. If you need to. But that's the only time you don't get in trouble for smashing glass. In the final challenge, Ronaldo will need to use all his fine-tuned abilities in one amazing test of skill.